My name is Rebecca Rendell. I am a Foundation Student Alumni from 2004 and I'm a practicing artist currently based in Swansea. Um, my name is John Jones. I did um, I completed foundation uh, in Swansea in 2005. Before then, um, I was living uh, in lots of different places um, it, where already my creative practice I developed by myself was no formal art education. I was just doing um, a lot of well live art. Um, I, I'm a singer-songwriter and um, I, I'm also, I, I do a lot of creative writing and self-publishing, uh, particularly zines and my own sort of like little books that I make, so you could call me a bookmaker too. So originally I wanted to do foundation um, purely because I knew I was creative but I didn't know exactly how I wanted to progress and how I wanted to define my practice and focus my path. I just, at the time, enjoyed trying lots of different things. Um, I studied a BTEC National Diploma um, and took a year out after that, but I'd already acquired a place on the foundation, so I knew I had something to come, come back to. Um, and foundation really helped me to, to decide and, and focus on the, the bits that I really enjoyed about being creative. A very close artist friend, um, Emma Hedditch, she, I was having a telephone conversation with her and she was like, I'll see if there's um, a good art and design foundation that you could do because you're a brilliant artist and you should see if like you can do stuff to progress your work in that way. And so yeah, I, 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 I looked it up and yeah, it turns out, at least from my point of view, Swansea Art and Design Foundation course is one of the best. I remember on the first day in Foundation, I was absolutely petrified to even enter the building. Um, I had a, a complete lack of confidence on that day and I was convinced that it was the worst idea in the world. Even though I'd spent a year looking forward to going on the course, I'd even spent the year collecting materials that I knew I liked working in, writing down ideas that I'd potentially make. But on the day of the, of the, the first day to go in, I just convinced myself that I just, I just couldn't do it. Um, and after a bit of a chat with the, the head of the course, um, I eventually went in the second day. It was a very metamorphic year for me. I felt like from the first day where I just couldn't face the idea of walking in to the final show, um, I progressed in a way that I couldn't really imagine in terms of my confidence. I think um, what I mostly gained from doing Art and Design Foundation in Swansea was particularly the presence of people like Bella, um, who, you know, they had a interest in the history of doing more experimental and avant-garde and, and like particularly for me performance based stuff so it was like we're doing crits and stuff if i'd come and present like a performance piece i just made um that was always really exciting not just for for me but for the staff and the students that someone was presenting a live work when i mean a lot of people come off A-level to do it, like they've got no experience of like live art and like what that can mean and like you know that direct connection to the staff and the student body like saying like this is a live work, this is something like you know the work is in itself, like what you see what I'm doing before you, that's the nature of my work. Um, so, so yeah, like I, I felt like I could bring a lot to the course myself and I think that's true of any art education, it's really what the student brings. After foundation, I went directly on to study my, my degree in Winchester and I managed to get some work with um, a very well-known artist after that. Um, so I was a studio assistant for over a year that gave me a real sense of how the top of the food chain works in the fine art world. Um, 
This increased my confidence again, and when I got the opportunity to work in a gallery in Dubai, I moved to the Middle East and I was based there for four years, where I managed to establish my practice more so. I got my first experiences of teaching and had my first residencies and solo shows. Again, I, I was very lucky in a way, like after completing my art and design foundation, um, I'd learnt that um, at UWIC, as it was then, they had a course which was, it, it was a fine art degree, but also there was the, t the time-based department which you got to choose, like similarly to like foundation, you did rotation, but like in my heart of hearts I really wanted to like pursue um, a path and a career in doing live work um, and basically again it was perfect timing. I was in Wales and there was that facility at the time um, and the course leader was Andre Stett who obviously has a massive history of doing performance live work. So yeah, again, it was like being in the right time at the right place. Um, I remember finishing Foundation and telling people, whether they were interested in art and design or not, that that was a really vital course that everyone should consider because it led me through a journey from, as I said, quite a metamorphic journey from A to Z. Um, but for artists who, who really want to figure out who they are, it's, it's the perfect course to, to really push yourself and experiment. If I was going to sum her up in one sentence, it's like the, the, the freedom to show like you're vulnerable, the freedom to show like, you know, what, where your weaknesses might be and also being surrounded by so many amazing people who will just encourage your strengths. Um, and, and, and again, it's like the, the freedom to make mistakes. So I was asked to sum up this foundation course in just one line, and the only thing I could think of was super phallic, kind of fragile, super phallic, super phallic, super fragile. <laughs>